Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel! It is time for a new episode of our Sandbox Park in the Jurassic World Evolution 2. And in this episode, there'll be a lot of lasts, because we'll add the last lagoon and also the last aviary to our park. This is starting to be a bit bittersweet, because as much as I am excited for finishing that park, because we don't have like too much space left, I am also very very sad that this series is coming to an end because I loved building this park, I am really proud of it and it will be very hard for me to say bye. Of course before we'll end I will give you guys a big final tour around it but still we have some things to build in here. I think if I did my maths right and my counting right we will have like Three more episodes of that park, maybe two, I will see, uh, before we will have our final tour. So there are still at least two more speed build videos to come from this park. But now let's focus on the things that we'll be adding today. So today another very very anticipated uh, episode. Many of you guys actually asked about adding the Mosasaurus to this park, the Mosasaurus Lagoon. And this is what we are adding today. Uh, this was my plan to be honest to add the Mosasaurus from the very beginning. Uh, I just wanted to have it in this particular park of the zoo of our park uh, just because uh I think that the lagoon looks so cool if it's a bit like sunken into terrain, if you have like a lot of terrain like above it, so the guests get this cool view inside of the lagoon without the need to go to those viewing galleries. So this is the perfect spot because we have a lot of this, uh, you know, elevated uh, terrain around it. Uh, so yeah, today uh, the Mosasaurus was the first thing that we'll add. And the second thing is the last aviary. So uh, I really wanted to add the te Tapajara to this park because it is my favorite uh, flying reptile thing. I love how it is looking. I love how it is like unique and cool. And I also wanted to add the Dimorphodon from the very beginning. Those guys are the smallest flying reptiles in the game and I really enjoy them. Uh, the plan at the beginning was to add two uh, separate aviaries for them. Uh, one a bit bigger, one smaller, but I had some issues which I will explain later. Uh, so eventually they will leave together in one bigger aviary. So those are the plans for today and as you guys can see we are obviously beginning today's video, today's building with a lagoon. Uh, it takes about three seconds to build a lagoon in this game. It is so easy. You cannot like uh, decorate it. You cannot do anything inside of it, which is a pity. Uh, but thanks to it, it is a very quick build. Uh, that's why we'll be focusing more uh, on the things around the lagoon. I added like a uh, additional plaza to our park, like in the front of the lagoon. So there will be a lot of decorating. There will be a lot of uh, path work. We will also add the hotels for the first time to our park uh, and many of you actually asked about the hotel section like hotel area for the guests because uh, in the original Jurassic World we, we could see some hotels people can go to the island and stay there for the night or couple of nights uh, so it made sense to have hotels in our park as well. Uh, I added two, I think it's completely enough looking at the like uh, how big is our park and definitely not everyone will be staying for a night uh, and also we are kind of you know uh, short on space here right now so I wanted I didn't want to waste any more space for the hotels I wanted to add more dinosaurs uh, so uh, I think that you can expect at least like one two three four five five or six habitats if I am right added still to this park uh, so a lot of dinosaurs are still coming some of your favorites are coming so uh, you will see which dinosaurs I will add in the future episodes 
Last time we actually added like a swamp section for the Baryonyx, Sukumimus and Spinosaurus and a lot of you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, so thank you so much for all the positive comments and feedback. Uh, I love that you enjoyed that because I really loved building it. So yeah, one of my favorite section in this park for sure. And I am hoping that the stuff that we'll add still will be equally like fun, equally uh, beautiful beautiful and uh, I am super super like excited for the final tour because I cannot wait to show you guys around this park it will probably be very long so brace yourselves for it <laughs> but yeah I cannot cannot wait uh, because I think that you guys will enjoy it so much when it comes to decorating stuff around the lagoon, we'll focus more on this like front that I am doing now in today's video. Uh, just because uh, like the um, back side is where I still won't add any of the habitats or enclosures. So I prefer to add it them first and then decorate around them. To not have to delete everything if for example I will leave too small space for another enclosure and stuff like that. So, so yeah, today we are focusing on the part that I am doing right now. Uh, also, uh, I won't uh, show everything on the video as I sometimes keep those things like adding the planters and stuff like that. Not to make the speed builds too long, I will showcase it all in the real time part of this video uh, by the end of the video basically. Uh, so if you like to see uh, the finished like part of our park definitely stay tuned for that uh, thanks to adding this uh, lagoon and this uh, like huge plaza uh, the next like big uh, part of the zoo is finished it's coming along so nicely and I actually wanted to add the lagoon right now because uh, thanks to that I know exactly how much space I have left in that area of the park, how many dinosaurs I can still add uh, and I am kind of you know okay with the space that we are left. I think that I will be able to add all the dinosaurs that I wanted to add basically. Uh, so yeah I am really really happy with all the things uh, that we are doing here, how the park is coming along and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Also, watching the first episode of the Perkistoric Planet on Apple Plus really like made me want to add the Mosasaurus to our park because uh, you know the Mosasaurus was pictured in that episode a lot actually, and I thought it is such a cool and magnificent creature that I really wanted to have it in my park, so I added it. Uh, you may notice that I have like four parts of the lagoon in my uh, build. Uh, the Mosasaurus actually in default needs five uh, to be satisfied with the needs, but I played a bit of a scientist and I uh, like messed with its genes, uh, so we can actually change uh, the requirements of the space of the certain dinosaurs and animals uh, when you make them in the hatchery, and you can, uh, thanks to that, like lower their space needs, and this is what I did here. So thanks to that, my Mosasaurus only requires for uh, like lagoons to be happy. It is perfectly happy with the space. Uh, so uh, thanks to that, we still have so much space around to build. Uh, adding five could be like uh, problematic for me uh, and for my plants. Uh, so I am really happy that a feature like that is available in the game. What I also wanted to talk with you guys uh, about is a new uh, DLC, I mean the Dominion update that is coming. Uh, I am recording this voiceover while uh, just seeing the first like teaser for the Dominion update, uh, like uh, Jurassic World Evolution just tweeted and you know posted on their Instagram and stuff like that, uh, the Know Your Dino like series that they normally do, uh, with a piece of a feather dinosaur and I am sure for 100% that this is a Pyroraptor that we could see in the Dominion uh, trailer, uh, so uh, the new DLC is coming and actually I don't think that I will 
will be able to finish that park before uh, because it is rumored to be released like in the middle of June, probably 14th of June and I don't think that I will be able, uh, given my uh, very busy life lately, uh, to uh, finish this park uh, but I will for sure be building for the new dinosaurs that will be given uh, with a new DLC uh, but I think that I will add them all to the new park that will start and uh, like sim simultaneously I will do this park and I will give you guys a tour around it uh, somewhere probably by the end of June uh, but I don't think that I'll be adding any of the, the Dominion dinosaurs in here because I have clear plans of on what dinosaurs I want to add and I don't basically know besides the Pyroraptor what we'll get in the new DLC. I am very hopeful for new features and stuff. Uh, I hope that we'll get some new careers uh, levels and some new Chaos Theory uh, levels that will be so so great. Uh, and I am always hopeful for new decorations and stuff like that. I am hopeful that they will allow us to, you know, decorate the uh, lagoons more and stuff like that. But yeah, I just guess we need to wait and see. Uh, the news probably will be dropping on the following day, so like stay tuned for them. I am beyond excited for this DLC because I also think that the interest in the game has like uh, gone down lately. Like not many people's are people are playing, not maybe many people are watching those videos uh, from me and other creators. Uh, that's why I am very excited for the Dominion update because I think that it will bring so many people back to the game. Uh, this is such a wonderful game that, you know, uh, I hope that people will continue to enjoy it because I love recording those videos, playing it and so on. So yeah, cannot wait for the news, cannot wait to see what will be added to the game. This is very, very exciting time as always before the new DLC is released. So yeah, cannot wait. And I'll be dropping all the news on my social media uh, about the new update. So just a friendly reminder that you can also follow me on my Twitter, on my Instagram, on my Facebook. The links are down in the description if you'd like to follow me there. So while I was talking, we actually started to work on the aviary that we'll be adding today for the Tapajara and the Dimorphodon. As I told you guys, I wanted to add them separately, uh, but I had like several issues, like severe issues, I should say, uh, with adding water to the second aviary. I don't know, I couldn't do it at all. I couldn't, you know, add the water there. I tried to like put it in like different places, I tried to manipulate the terrain, like make it lower, higher and stuff like that, but I just couldn't add water, I don't know why, and as you guys know, you need to have a water to add the feeder uh, for uh, the flying reptiles, the fish feeder, so yeah, I just couldn't do it, and I decided to put those guys together, they are perfectly fine living together, and because of that there's more life basically in this aviary there are a lot of flying things here so uh, yeah I'm ha quite happy with it still I'm so happy that I decided to add another aviary because I just love them I love flying reptiles when I was a child those were my favorites like dinosaurs I know that they're not dinosaurs but when I was a child I thought that they were uh, so yeah <laughs> uh, really 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 happy about that I was able to squeeze in just last aviary in this park. Of course we'll add a lot of rocks here, we'll add water sections, a lot of plants and those new perching uh, posts for the flying reptiles which I love. Uh, so uh, I will showcase it all in a second in the real time part of the video. This is basically all that I uh, wanted to show you guys in the speed build portion of the video and I will see you guys in a second to give you guys a tour around all the things that we've built today. So see you shortly. Hello guys, welcome back to uh, the tour part of this video. As you can see, we are on some sort of a new path in our park. Uh, like uh, here is the main plaza that we've built in the first episode. So it was so, so long ago. 
And here is like a large Brachiosaurus enclosure. There are some other um, herbivores living in here. There's a gyrosphere right. And following that path, uh, we can now go to the enclosures that we've built in the previous episodes. Like here is the Iguanodon, the Altorian and Ornithosaurus enclosure. Uh, and we can take this path. Uh, this is the Homo cephli, uh, by the way. And uh, we can take this path down here uh, to go to the newest uh, lagoon that we added today. We are going past the new hotel uh, that you guys can see. There is actually some gas using it. Uh, so right now we have this new plaza for our park with some fountains with the flags for a main start of our uh, video today. Yeah, finally you have hotels as I told you guys, some people were asking for them. Um, it makes sense to have them actually, so I wanted to have um, them. I won't have any more, I just will add two because uh, I don't want to waste any of the space left of our park for the hotels. Uh, but yeah, this is how it is looking. This is the continuation of our plaza. And we have like three uh, viewing galleries for the lagoon on this so uh, part. Uh, here are the restrooms. I thought, think of them as shops or something. Uh, they are the smallest like buildings you can add. So uh, I was able to feed them in here with no problems. Okay, we can actually go inside and see if we'll be able to see uh, the Mosasaurus. I am actually underwater, so let's go up. And maybe we will be lucky. I actually have like a hunger uh, turned on for the uh, for the carnivores. So if we'll be lucky, we should be able to see it like uh, jumping for a shark. But I won't keep you guys waiting here forever. Hmm, I cannot seem to find it. I don't know what, where it went, but uh, it must be somewhere here. Like, he couldn't escape. Just go out of the water and say bye. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is our lagoon. Uh, let's go out of here because I don't want to wait. I, you, I don't want you guys to wait so long for it to appear. You know, I'm sure you know how the Mosasaurus is looking. Uh, so I really like this part uh, because we have like this lowered plaza and then we have this like uh, raised path uh, with this, you know, fence uh, that, you know, doesn't allow the gas to go uh, like down the slope. So I really like this detail here. Uh, this is so cool that you can like overlook this plaza from here. And of course, here is our Olotorian exhibit. So we can now continue this way uh, and like have a look inside of the lagoon. I actually can see the tail of the Mosasaurus. Yeah, it's somewhere here. So I wasn't lying to you about having a Mosasaurus in my lagoon. Uh, okay, so here is like a little planter I did, like I had this free space between uh, this exhibit and the lagoon, so I decided to fill it in with this planter. I didn't show it in the speed build because it was so, so easy and simple. Uh, here is the new aviary that we've built. It is like sort of in the middle of nowhere right now, but in the future episodes we will fill this space. What I wanted to do is just go here uh, and show you guys uh, the viewing uh, platforms that we have on this side. I actually like added some decorations in here, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, here we also have like this idea of the raised path in here. So the guests like when they'll be walking in here, they uh, will have like those sneak peeks of the water in the lagoon. Sometimes they'll maybe see the Mosasaurus. So this is really cool. I really like this idea. And now we can go inside and actually there is our main star in here. So he is here. Hope he's hungry. Maybe he's going for a shark. Maybe, I don't know. I think that he would dive uh, if he would be going for it. So, okay. Maybe we won't be waiting for this guy. Yeah, I I wanted to really add him. You guys really wanted me to have it. Uh, also, after watching, as I told you guys, the prehistoric planet where the Mosasaurus was featured, I needed to have it. 
Okay, I thought that maybe it is going for a jump, but unfortunately not. Maybe, Although maybe. Although many marine species are solely confined to the water, some something is happening, but I don't think so. Okay, the water so let's go uh, back this way and let's take a shortcut through this like field of grass. And let's see our aviary for the Tapajara and the Dimorphodon. Uh, we have two viewing galleries in here, uh, no decorations right now because as I told you guys, I am not 100% sure how the enclosures in here will be like positioned. So uh, they, this may be like temporary, I mean the path and so on. So I didn't want to add something just to, uh, you know, delete it in a second. So here's our Tapajara and here is the Dimorphodon. Uh, they have like two different water sections. I love that they are using the rocks. Like the Tapajara is my favorite flying, flying reptile in the game, I think, like because of this crest on the hat, it looks so, so cool. And also it has really some really beautiful colors. Yeah, there are actually a lot of those guys here. Uh, so we have the Dimorphodons, the Tapajaras. They are sort of stuck. <laughs> yeah, it happens a lot in this park. I don't know why. Maybe it's because there are so many dinosaurs in here that something is wrong with the flying reptiles. But yeah, we need to leave a bit of that. So those guys are really cool. I really like them. Also because of Camp Cretaceous. So yeah, this is their ivory. And let's go out and let's show you guys the park from the outside. There are some issues because I turned off uh, like the, uh, like I turned on basically the hunger of the uh, carnivores. So that's why some, uh, someone is probably hungry or something. I will figure it out in a second. But firstly, let me show you guys what I've built today. So this is the new plaza that we have. We have like several plazas right now, uh, but uh, still I think that this is such a huge attraction for our park that it deserves to have like this plaza with those flags. I really love them. This is the first time that I'm using them actually. Uh, so yeah, I was really happy that I could finally add them. Uh, we have the some fountains in here. Uh, we have the restrooms, as I told you guys, the viewing uh, platforms, also two hotels. Uh, the smaller one and the big one, like just imagine like sitting here and having a look on the Hamosephaly uh, on this side and uh, the Mosasaurus, maybe not the best one, but here, for example. Yeah, that would be so, so cool. So yeah, this is the new part. This is this rice path that I really love. Oh, we had a crash here. Great. <laughs> uh, this is the new planter that I added. Here is the Baryonyx and Sucomimus habitat we added last time. And right now we have the new uh, aviary with uh, Tapajara and the Dimorphodon, as I told you guys. Uh, so there are some rock formations. I love that they're using them all the time. Uh, and here's like another... Uh, like. Uh, water section with those cool rocks that they are also sitting there a lot. Uh, I think that the issues with flying have something to do with the custom trees that I added here. Uh, because they sometimes seem to be stuck. Some of them are fine and I really don't know what is happening. But still, I love those guys. Just look at him. The colors on those guys are just beautiful. So yeah, this is our Dimorphodon and Tapajara. Uh, let me show you one of the Dimorphodons. If you uh, probably like never used them or something, this is the really cool and quite funny looking flying reptile. It looks like it has that like, T-Rex head or something. Uh, and it has this really long tail. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed those guys and I really wanted to add them. Okay, uh, so let me also show you our Mosasaurus uh, because this is the main star of today's episode, looking really majestic, large, and having all this huge uh, like lagoon for itself. Also, what I would love is to be able to customize those lagoons a bit more. Like imagine having more rocks in here, some plants, maybe some rocks like sticking out of the water. That would be so, so cool. 
But yeah, here's our Mosasaurus. And this is basically all that we've built today. How this happened, I have no idea, but let's not bother about this. So, when it comes to the plans for our park, as you guys can see, this here and this, this is the only uh, like space that we have left in our park. So, for next episodes, we'll focus on this part, then we'll do this part, I think. And then we will finish like uh, doing some enclosures in here. There's also this cool hill that I wanted to use. So uh, yeah, we'll have like a raised path coming here. And basically that would be it. And after that, I will give you guys like a final tour of our park. Let me show you the map. Uh, so now we have the lagoon in here, the new aviary in here, and only this space in here left. This is all our new, maybe not new, but our, uh, the park that you guys know and you enjoy. And I'm so, so, so happy that you enjoy it so much. You asked for new videos and so on. So yeah, this means a lot. Okay, guys. So, uh, let me show you our new Mosasaurus and I will do my regular outro to the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe to my channel. That will really mean a world to me and would help my little channel to grow. And also, you won't miss any of my future uploads. The final tour is coming, so I hope you guys are as excited for it as I am. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video uh, and of course comment down below uh, if you like today's video if you are happy that we finally added the mosasaurus it was very requested by you guys look at that look at that yeah we were able to catch it in the video yeah i'm so beyond happy for that because it's not too like often for me to be honest. Okay, but uh, let's go back <laughs> what, to what, what I was saying. Uh, also, comment down below uh, what dinosaurs you still would like to see. I think that we will still add like seven of them. I will see, but probably it will be seven given the space that I will still have. Okay, guys, this is all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.